Here's a typical question that many do ask. It's a good question. Why am I here? Why am I here? That's a very good question. And there's a biblical answer to why you are here. It's found in the book of Revelation. Ooh, Revelation. It's found in Revelation chapter 4, verse 11. Why are we here? Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things, God the creator, and for thy pleasure, ooh, there's pleasure, for thy pleasure they are and were created. We were made to give glory to God. Not the pickup trucks, not the sports, not the Hollywood, not the self. We were made to give glory to God, our Creator. And when you believe in evolution and not in the Creator, you're not giving glory to God. When you have not put your faith and trust in God through Jesus Christ, you have not given the glory and honor to God. Religion is not the glory and honor and power of God. I'll read that verse again. It says, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. You were made to praise God. You are here to give honor and glory to the Creator God. And that God, the power to save your soul. There is no power in your soul in a religion. There is no power in denying and rejecting God. It glorifies God and honors God that you are trusting in his power in the blood to cleanse us and to save us and to give us eternal life through Jesus Christ, who is God, who is the creator, that in the absence of Jesus, and in the denial of Jesus, you are not, for, you are not providing what God created you for. You are a creation of a creator that wants you to praise and give God the honor and the exaltation. But you rather give your glory and honor to George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, Hamilton, and not Jehovah God, and not Jesus Christ. You will, re you will lift up a religion as Catholic, as Baptist, as Pentecostal, as Jehovah, but you will not lift up your creator, God, Jesus Christ. We got this weekend, we got a bunch of people honoring their pickup trucks and not God. And they're going around wasting fuel. To, Look how good my pickup truck is. And I go all over and trying to tell you how wonderful God is. How God can save your soul. 
how God, our Creator, suffered and died according to the Scriptures. How God Almighty was put into a tomb, and that tomb was sealed. And that God, our Creator, worthy all honor, praise, and power, three days and three nights according to the Scriptures, his angel said, he's not here, he's risen. I'll be back soon. That there is no, nothing, zilch, that can outdo the power, the honor, and glory of our Creator my Savior, and He can be your Savior too. If there's one thing we all have in common, we have in common that we are all created by God. And if you deny the creation of God, the Creator God, and believe in evolution, you're the liar. Evolution is the liar. You were made by God. You were created by God. You have been given life by God. And there are a few of the creation that have put their faith and trust in Jesus. And there are many that put no faith in their creator, no faith in the God. No faith in Jesus. They denied the power, the honor, and the glory that is rightfully belongs to God, Jesus Christ. And that you will stand guilty of the first commandment to put God first when you have given your honor, your glory, and your power to something, someone, or somewhere else. When your love and dedication is not in God. You have sinned. Where your time and your money and your effort and your pleasure and your praise is given in something more than God, you have sinned. Because the very first commandment is God first all the time, every time, all the time. And we haven't gone the other nine commandments. The very first commandment again, Revelation chapter 4. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things. And thy pleasure they are and were created. There's the first commandment. It says... All glory, all honor, all power to God. Now, if you give God 99.99%, you still have sinned against God. Our God and our Creator is worthy of 100% of us. That God, our Creator, gave 100% of Himself. He was born, and He suffered, and He died according to the Scriptures. And He was buried, and He arose again the third day according to the Scriptures. God gave us 100%. And again, the verse says, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For Thou hast created all things for Thy pleasure. 
They are and were created. And the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The only way to please God is to put your faith, your power, your praise, your glory, all in the power, the glory, and praise in Jesus Christ. And when you put Jesus Christ aside, You have sinned against God. And we have here a few free charge. We have a few pamphlets here left over. You want to say, preacher, why are you here preaching every Saturday? We got a few pamphlets in here. Why I preach on the streets. And this will tell you why we're here. And I'll tell you what's inside the pages. The gospel. That Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. And that street preaching is actually biblical. Jesus street preached. Peter street preached. Paul street preached. Elijah street preached. Jeremiah street preached. What I'm doing is in the family of the Bible. Proclaiming to the people God's word. And God's word today is that Jesus saves. And only Jesus Christ saves. 